Hey, little sloth. We're back home. Shooby doo, we're home. Hello, we're back home. Shooby doo, we're home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy because we're eating Burger King. That's right, I love Burger King. I haven't had Burger King for a very long time. Now, you saw the title of this video. We are going to be talking about Kate Yup. Kate, oh, look, I got two pounds of fries. People have been asking, like, you need a, we need your opinion about this. We need your reaction to this. I am the king, the king at reacting to people these days, huh? And thank you to everyone for your feedback on the whole Amber Lynn drama situation. Um, I hope you listen to that video in entirety, or most of it, to really hear what I'm trying to say. Because um, it needs to be said about her weight and everything. That's my opinion, so check it out if you're interested in that. Um, anyways, um, Impossible Burger. No, we're not doing the Impossible Burger today. I had that um, last time, and it was good. It was good, but it wasn't as good as the other one. Heme iron. It's really hard to replace that flavor. No, you not new mommy, you mommy flavor. It's just yeah, whatever. So, anyways, I got a crown. I'm gonna wear the crown for the thumbnail. Let me show you everything I got. So yeah, um, today we're gonna be asking to Kate. Yup, yeah, she's a ASMR slash mukbang. Not really. She's really ASMR food challenger almost. She eats a lot of food. Um, and there's been some conspiracy theories with her. There's been a lot of question about her. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, <clears throat> well, I'll I'll introduce her to you, and you're gonna I'm gonna let you know what I think. So let me show you everything I got. We got some chicken nuggets. We got they gave me a free French fry by accident, so I didn't say anything. I've been checking now. When I leave the drive-through, I check. I do not pull away till I know everything is here. And uh, yeah, I ordered a medium coke, a double whopper with a fry. Um, a large onion ring and a spicy crispy sandwich. Well, I got three french fries. <laughs> oh, bless their hearts, the fast food workers. And I, I saw it in the back. Am I wrong for not saying, oh no. I mean, they gave it to me. I don't know. Oh, watch, people are gonna come for me. Nick, you should have given that to someone else. They handed it to me. Most people don't check the bag before they leave the drive-thru, so what's the difference? <laughs> the knowledge is the difference. I knew and I still left. Well, I don't know. It makes up for the, all the things that I that they don't give me when I come home and it's not in the bag. So there, they made up for it, okay? <laughs> oh, this is a nice setup already. I just like to display my sauces. So I actually didn't get that much. I only have two sandwiches, 20 chicken nuggets, um, a large, that's a large onion ring, okay. There, the free little french fry right here made up for it. <laughs> and french fries and a Coke. You guys know I don't drink soda. I really stay away from sugar, high fr fructose corn syrup and stuff. Um, and that's why I'm still healthy, despite being a mukbanger. I, it's just water weight. So anyways, yeah, <sighs> you guys, and there's something I would like to say before we begin the video as well. Actually, we're gonna say that for later or maybe a different video because there is a little drama going on. <laughs> God, I really don't want to. There was a little bit of drama going on with someone on YouTube, and you're like, Nick, you have issues with everyone on the gap. I know. <laughs> also, my my butt little stings right now because <laughs> yesterday I had the spicy. So on camera, when I did Amberlynn's video. I didn't eat the um. Sp you can fast forward if you don't want to hear this part, but um, when I, wait till I go bam. But yeah, so um, I had a little those spicy leftovers from Buffalo Wild Wings that I had for Eat with Q video. No, the video at, after Eat With Q, and they were so spicy. Well, anyways, I felt so bad. I really don't want to waste food ever. I really try to finish it myself or give it away, and no one in my house likes spicy food. No one. There's eight people here. So I'm like, well, I'm just going to do it. I'll make Oh, my God. So spicy. It was like the Korean Fire Noodle Challenge all over again, and I was sweating. This was off camera. Again, Amberlynn's video, the McDonald's one. I finished probably 75% of it. I came back a few hours later, and I finished the rest of it including those spicy things. I go, oh, I was sweating. I was like, oh my God, my stomach hurt. I dipped it in ranch. I went like, I was literally going like this by myself in this room because I'm all alone. <laughs> I miss my husband. I was going like this by myself and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And um, I didn't have stomach pains or anything. I didn't get acid reflux either. You guys know spicy food sometimes has that to me. But um, going to the bathroom, my butt still hurts. It's been literally an hour. <laughs> Spice, that's where it hurts on the way out. Bye bye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Bam! Bam to my butt. <laughs> so, anyways, um, and thank you to everyone who's been complimenting my haircut. You guys know I have to cut the hair by myself. Um, I've been cutting my own hair since high school. I did it economically because, you know, like, 
growing up, we were always trying to save money, my family and stuff. And it's not that we couldn't afford a haircut. It was just like, you know, if you have $20, I'd rather you have it toward food or violin lessons rather than a haircut. And also, that wasn't the main reason. It was also more so me getting haircuts, coming home and not liking it, and taking the scissors and fixing it myself. So my mom's like, why don't you just cut your own hair, Nick? It saves us money anyway, and you get to be in control of what you look like. So they got me my first little buzzers, bzz, and my little clippers, clip, clip, clip. And I've been cutting my hair ever since. And you guys know, I'm a very weird person when it comes to, I don't even know the right terminology. I haven't been diagnosed with other than medical phobia is what I say on like, not permission slips, like medical forms. If I go to a new doctor, a dentist, they say, do you have any issues? I say medical phobia. And this is what it means. Like, if I get my blood pressure taken, I pass out. I go unconscious. And when I go unconscious, I shake as, it's a, as if it's a seizure. And I've been tested as a child a lot for seizures because it's frightening. Ask Orlin. Who else has seen me pass out that's on YouTube? Um, anyone I've clapped with? No. But definitely Orlin a bunch of times. Who else? My exes, my family, people in school, my gym teacher. <laughs> you know, um, so if I get hurt, like I bang my knee or I get a paper cut, there's a there's a possibility that I go unconscious. It's like a, my body's response. It's like attack. Oh my God, we gotta shut you down. And I go unconscious and I start shaking. It's not seizures I've been testing. I've been tested a lot growing up. It's just one of those things that's a medical mystery. He just has a medical phobia. Well, that makes sense and all, you know, blood work, IVs, blood pressure. I mean, that's kind of extreme. Just walking into dentist's office, actually just seeing the little knives to go get my teeth cleaned. I always have to pray like, do not pass out. Do not pass out. Think of happy thoughts. I have to eat a steak or something with like a lot of iron, speaking of heme iron, something that really keeps me strong, uh, carbohydrates. I've noticed that um, I started passing out less once I stopped doing so many carbohydrates. I was on a vegan diet back in the day and I passed out a lot. And then um, I started eating meat and I did like a healthier plant-based diet where it's just like meat and veggies, not just like this. And then I went to that. I haven't actually passed out for a long time, but I did notice a difference. Physically, I felt stronger. Like I could go like this, look at my veins and not get queasy, which was a first for me. I don't know about eating meat if that has anything to do with it. Again, it's a medical mystery. Could be all in my head, let's say. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, oh yeah, so when I cut my own hair, I avoid that. And you're like, what? Well, there was a time in Colombia where I went to get my hair cut, two times actually, and the, they did this little knife to like shave my head and I passed out over and over and over. And I fell on the floor. A good Samaritan, a lady would came running by the haircut shop and she came holding me and I crushed her. And I woke up, we we're on the floor, I was on top of this lady. I can't, I can't, I can't even speak to her because it was in Colombia. I don't know Spanish and Orleans there. They're like, what's going on? Orleans just like, He's not gonna explain to them medical phobia that has no like real, he just said, oh, he's diabetic. Oh, he's diabetic. So they started giving me sugar. I need sugar or something. And I ate the sugar and I still, they gave me like a little alcohol thing to smell. And then I passed out again. Oh, it was awful. And it even happens with Orlin. So the back of my hair, um, see, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> the back of my hairline, I like for him to go with the razor to make sure it's nice and straight. And if I can't see it, I, I freak out. Remember I said I was gonna get a baby Fraxel? You know, it's that little laser thing. I go, I think I'll pass out. I think that would be terrible for me. But if I could do it myself and look at it myself, I feel like I could do it. It's it's like out, it's like a thing. Like when I went to the dentist in Thailand and I passed out, remember? But they put a cloth over my eyes and they were going at my tooth. Oh, passed out and everything. But yeah, so Orlin, when he cuts my hair, I still pass out. And, or I feel like I'm about to, and I'm like, usually in the bathroom naked, and I'm like, oh my God, because the hair's going everywhere. I just shower right after. I vacuum, then shower. And I'm just like, oh my God. And I like sit on the floor. I'm like, Orlin, wait, wait, I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out, oh my God. And I just, I'm a very strange character. <laughs> It's kind of embarrassing, oh my god. But that's literally what happened. So anyways, long story short, thank you to everyone who compliments my haircut because I do it myself. And this is the haircut I do. Now, when I went on live stream, I live stream on you now. And some people were like, Nick, grow it out, make it wavy, make it voluptuous. And I'm like, no, because then it takes away from the widow's peak. I have a deep widow's peak. Like Manny MUA, look out the way. Because my, I'm deeper than you. I'm bigger than you. Yeah, I'm bigger. So look out the way. <laughs> I have the deepest Will's Peak. Find me someone else on YouTube that has a Will's Peak like me. And I don't know if you'll find one. Please find me someone else on YouTube that has a Will's Peak that looks like mine. I would love to like see them. I don't know. I, it's very rare. So, and you guys know <gasps> my 23andMe kit. Um, actually I have to send, I have to do it today. It came in the mail two days ago, but again, it was the weekend. The post office doesn't come on Sunday. Same way. It's now Monday evening. 
Hello, real time people. But I'm going to be, um, I guess doing it tomorrow, today or tomorrow. You have to do it, or do you go eat like an, an 20 minutes, no, an hour previously. Technically it said 30 minutes on the package, but I'm gonna do an hour. <gasps> an hour just to be safe. That's a tomato, I just had a tomato burping up. Yeah, so anyways, so that's gonna come on the way, cause, and speaking of hairlines and genetics and appearance, you guys know I'm adopted from Russia and I don't know, I've never met my parents, I've never met my siblings, I don't know, even if I'm Russian, I could, it could have been someone from Portugal on vacation, had me there, or someone that just immigrated from Portugal or the Middle East or something, or maybe there's some Asian in me, I don't know. Well. I really want to find out and so I'm doing a DNA kit where I find out my ancestry I find out also the health now it's not like a diagnosis it's not like going to a doctor you have diabetes no it's more like this is the gene the precursor that makes you more susceptible to this or this is a predisposition meaning that you are likely to get it if you don't do actively do things to make sure it doesn't happen like eat certain foods or do certain exercises or um, I mean, there's some things out of your control, like hair loss, but who knows? So, yeah, I'm 27. I haven't lost any hair, except in the back of my hair. I have, like, a little patch that's open. It looks really weird. It's at the bottom, too. Orla knows that when he used to cut my hair before I fired him from cutting my hair because I pass out. <laughs> this was a couple years ago, but, yeah, he even noticed it back then. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it myself. Um, but the point is, um, better there than, back, than up here. Shoot, this is what you all see. <laughs> So anyways, that's on the way. I'm really, really excited about it. I feel like I'm talking too much. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'm really excited. I love, love Burger King Whoppers. Let me open them up for you. This here's a spicy chicken sandwich. Mm. Look out the way, Popeyes. Okay, look out the way, Pop. No, I missed that Popeyes sandwich. It was really, really, really good. I can't wait for it to come back. Um, I heard rumors that it might come back in October, but we have to wait and see. That was the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. Didn't someone get stabbed because of it? Don't blame them. No, I'm joking. No, that's very bad. Bad, bad things. And here's my double Whopper with cheese. Oh, look at that. And I have my 20 chicken nuggets and um, I got buffalo sauce and I got barbecue sauce. So let me get everything looking really pretty. I'm gonna go grab my computer and we're gonna talk about Kate Yup. Um, people have been asking me for asking for me to make this video for a while now and I finally I was like Ugh, I don't like spam and I'm not saying it's spam but it's almost spammy and if it's coming at me a lot now obviously these are different people so each person's doing one comment so that's not a spam at all I'm saying from my end receiving it if I hear someone's name blasted a lot I'm like it's the same effect as spam as if it was one person or 50,000 different people it's like Kate Yup, Kate Yup, Kate, who the F is Kate Yup so but I did watch a few of her videos and um we gotta talk so without further ado one two three let's dig in BAM check out the display this I'm sorry, this is from McDonald's, but I needed something to fill that space. <laughs> so they have a couple bites and then we're gonna get into it. I know you're all dying to know what's going on. So we're gonna move this over just a little bit so I can put the computer up here and we can watch together. All right, so cheers to a wonderful eating show. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, I'm so hungry too. Not Kate Yup level of hungry. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Wow. Scarfing down the food like there's no tomorrow. Is there a possibility of no tomorrow? Hmm. So let me tell you. There's a person on YouTube. I don't want to call her a YouTuber. Usually, a YouTuber is regularly posting. And I'm not talking about every day, but, you know, once a week, once a month. Consistency. Um, and you have more than, like, ten videos. I think all she has is ten videos. She's someone that's on YouTube but she took off in terms of viewership. She is an ASMR channel, so she does not speak. What makes it extra strange is that she chooses, she chooses not to show her face. And you're like, well, so many ASMR people do that. No, I'm not talking about just her mouth. I'm saying she could have done that, right? She could have just shown her mouth. Have you seen the other ASMR channels where it's just like, here and below, you see their sm smile, nom, 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 nom. She knows that's obviously a thing. No, she chooses to show her face. Well, I don't know if she chooses. But there's, she's making a statement by blindfolding herself. So you, you see that she's trying to hide her identity. 
That's a way of saying something without saying without saying anything at all. Okay. So it's making a statement. We're gonna drink out of my coldest water bottle and I'm gonna put it back here so it's not too much in the way, but you can see it. All right, so that's what she does. She deliberately shows her face and blindfolded. So you're thinking like, I've seen people do blindfolded challenges, but one video is sufficient, maybe two, but all of her videos are blindfolded. Okay. Let's try my double Whopper with cheese. That looks really good. Mmm. Gotta love Burger King. Mmm. 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 Okay, see my reaction? That's another thing about Kate Yup. When I eat something good, I'm smiling. <sighs> I release a breath because <laughs> I'm happy. Releasing stress. The food can be stress relieving. Sometimes stress causing, but not in the moment, okay? <laughs> I am ring. Kate Yup, when she eats, she eats like. <laughs> Like, like an animal out of a, like in a zoo. I'm not saying to be mean, but that's what it looks like. It looks like she's not even enjoying herself. And then she'll do like a little smile. It does not look genuine. So people, there's about a bunch of conspiracies on the internet right now. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That she's being held hostage. That someone is making her eat like this for money. There's conspiracies that she's being abused because she has bruises on her arm. So she's also very skinny. Like I need to want to judge people for being overweight or underweight. But it's just one thing to, to be aware of. I mean, you just notice it first thing. She's very thin. The latest video that she made on her channel is called I Am Alive. Now if she's truly being held hostage, I don't think a video called I'm being I'm alive would be published by someone who's holding her hostage. Follow my Instagram at Nikocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. I'm alive would be published by someone who's holding her hostage. They're not gonna play a game with the internet. If the internet is on it, the internet finds out real fast. And if you are truly holding someone captive, I don't think I don't think that you're going to play. You're not gonna play. You're not gonna let people know that they're no. You know what I mean? I am alive. Who does a title like that unless there is observance, unless people already think that you're not, that you're not healthy or that circumstances are not normal or that you're not in a good space. You know what I mean? No one makes a title called I'm alive for no reason. So to me, it indicates that we, they're letting us know that we know or wonder what happened to her because she hasn't posted for a long time. When was this posted? This was posted August 15th. It's been a month and a week. Six weeks ago. Six weeks ago. Has 50,000 comments. Um, I don't know. If I, again, I'm not a criminal. I've never taken some, I've never held someone hostage before. But I certainly wouldn't let people know that I know that they're starting to guess and wonder. I, I'm not gonna toy with that. So that that's my first observation, okay? Let's try this, and I'm gonna start watching her videos. I'm gonna tell you what I see. Cheers. Spicy chicken sandwich, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, smells good too, mmm. That is good. <laughs> now, before you say, <laughs> like, it looks like you haven't eaten before either. Okay, I'm sorry. But I don't know, at least I'm expressing myself. I don't know. It's very fishy what's going on. Okay, so let's start watching some of her videos.
Let's watch this together. Hey, I'm still alive, my friends. You can see my smile. Everything is okay for me. She just goes straight into the eating. I'll make sure the volume's up all the way. Not like she says anything. Okay, now she's eating. But look at the way she eats. Hopefully you can see this. I guess it's kind of normal. Let me set this here so you can see. We're gonna put the camera up. This bread, oh, what did that say? I'm gonna go back. This breaded fish, crunchy and tender inside, delicious. So she doesn't say anything, but she'll have little um, things like that. Now I'll tell you, as someone who makes YouTube videos for a living, that there's a process called editing. I don't just eat this and it shows up on YouTube. Uh-uh, I have to import it into a processor, whether it be iMovie, Final Cut Pro, Adobe, again, name any of the other Windows stuff, because I don't know what those are. <laughs> There's a process, you have to watch, you have to play back, you have to render the files, you have to import it. Mm. What I mean is this is not a live stream that she's doing in the moment and then walks away from. These texts are being added, meaning they're having to watch the video. Now, let that sink in because you get the gist here. I'm gonna go to um, one of my friends, T-Bang, who made a good video about it. Um, and you can hear someone saying something in the background, whispered. Because they know people are listening. They know people are on it. That's what I'm saying. If they're going to make a video called I'm Alive with a big smile in the entrance. I don't know if she's, I personally think she might be in an abusive relationship or there's something not quite right going on at home. Which would explain the bruises. Let's look at them. But I don't think if she was truly being held hostage that... They're gonna edit a video, watch it back, and deliberately keep someone in the background saying, what was it, I want to kill you or something? Or like, I want to kill you. People think she's kidnapped. I, here we go. Shout out to T-Bang. So let's watch this together. So as you can tell from the title of this video, uh, many people believe that a mukbanger called Kate Yup is being kidnapped and held hostage. Kate Yup is a mukbang YouTuber with almost 300k subscribers. Here is her channel as you can see. She only has about 15, oh, they're not saying this, I'm just telling you. She only has about 15 to 20 videos. She's known for eating tons of seafood at an extremely fast pace. But a few people, a few months now, subscribers have seen a difference in her newer vi videos as if something was off. Mind you though, the whole blindfolding has been going on since day one. So while something might be changing since day one, she was blindfolded since day one. Again, she could have just cut the camera off here. And honestly, the camera pretty much does stop there. But she's blindfolded. I don't... I don't know if this is a kidnapping situation. If they would go to that extent to toy with the internet in that way. Let's see though. People have noticed bruises on her arms and lips, which cause them to believe that she's being abused. Now that's something that I think could be a possibility. It could be her father. She looks like a little girl. It could be her boyfriend, it could be her husband, it could be her brother, it could be another older sister. She could be at school and coming home <clears throat> to, um, Here's the thing. If I was looking to make money off of someone and I was a and I was holding them ransom and I saw that there was such an increase in viewership, what would your natural instinct do? 
make more videos, make them more frequently. All these people are talking about, they're getting millions of views, they are monetized. You'd say, let's do more, but they're not. It's been what, six weeks since she made a video. She only has 20 videos on her whole channel and she's getting this type of attention. If, if there is motive for making money off of her, using her, um, then we'd see a lot more videos, I think. I, I definitely think, because that means more money, more views, and it would keep going, you know what I mean? So that's why I don't think it is a, an abuser or someone kidnapped her trying to use, excuse me, use her. I think it might be an emotionally unstable relationship or family situation where, you know, she makes videos when she can. Um, the whole blindfolded thing, the whole blindfolded, deliberately letting people know, can go to support, you know, this is planned, but could also go to support, um, you know, an abusive mother say, hey, do this, but make sure you cover your eyes. She's not going to argue. She's, what, 18 years old? She's just going to do it. I don't, we don't know her age, but anyways, the bruises can be from anything. Others have also made claims that someone else is behind the camera forcing her to eat. If in the reflection of the bowl, you can see a figure. This is terrible. I'm praying for you, Kate. You'll be okay soon. That's a comment that someone left. Someone left anom another comment that says, are they forcing you to eat so fast? I feel very strange energy watching this video. Almost get anxiety. There are many clues that people have found throughout the videos showing that she's not okay. I'll be showing some of these claims, which are actually concerning. And her most recent video titled, I am alive, which already concerned a lot of fans, but there was something really concerning, and it was her captions throughout the video. Each caption she displayed throughout the video had uh, one highlighted capital letter. If you put the highlighted capital letters together, they spell the word help. This is not an accident, that's what I'm saying. The blindfold, the camera angle, making a title. No one questioned the title. Why would you make a title like that? This is not a kidnapper. And if they're going to edit it and make it spell out help, they're either toying with us because it's getting great attention or she's doing it because, say, her mother's making her do this, her boyfriend's making her do that. She, oops, sorry. She's in an abusive relationship and she's editing it and she's obviously not going to embarrass the parents, embarrass the boyfriend, something that they probably wouldn't catch. However, I'm sure they read the comments. I'm sure they're going to see all these videos now. Um, so that's why I'm concerned for her. Because now she might be in doo-doo. Let's see. Are ready? Let's see what's going on here. Mm. Here's a clip. Oh, can you hear? It says, hey, I'm still alive, my friends. You can see my smile. This is a video we just watched together. There's a fly in here. I'm so sorry. Get out of here. Hey is capitalized, but the other sentence is not. Everything is capitalized. Everything is okay for me. Look, L. Look at me. Do you really think I'm being forced to eat? Do you really think I'm being forced to eat? Prawn, just smaller than giant shrimps and easier to cat eat because I removed the skin. Now that's not a normal sentence. People don't say prawns, da 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 da. So this is very deliberate by her or the person making the videos. Now the mystery is, there's that damn fly. The mystery is, is she in trouble or does she want people to think she's in trouble? And that's what we don't know. Let's keep watching. Prawn, capital P. It can't be a coincidence that she started each sentence with the letters that spelled the word help. That's not a coincidence. Especially that last sentence, which is not a normal sentence. In another video, Kate writes, the meat is so delicious. And where she has so and then delicious, the O and the S capitalized to, to write the word S-O-S. That means danger. S-O-S, danger. So she wrote that in an earlier video, right? She wrote, she wrote that in a whole nother video. So this is, again, she's waiting for people to pick up on the clues and it's working. Whether it's a little signal for, hey, I'm being abused at home, 
or because no no kidnapper who's going to see this and react to it would have kept going you know like they're not making another one let's title it we're alive you know they don't want to get caught they don't want this to get forwarded out there to the police i don't know because again you could say, oh, well, they just want the money. Well, if they really want the money, we'd see her a lot more than once every five months, okay? We, we would see her a lot more than once a month if they wanted money. Because it's going to give her money. Again, this is an ASMR channel. You know, CPMs are different on YouTube. She's not making bank like a, other, like a beauty guru. But still, with the amount of views, it is going to add up. Both of these messages has caused fans to worry about what she's going through. Fans began to dig throughout her videos for more evidence that she's actually being held hostage. Some of the fans claim they sound true while others seem to be far out of reach. Oh my god, you guys, at 12.48 in the video, someone in the background says, I'll kill you. Does anyone hear that too? Let's listen. Oh my god, listen clearly at 12.47, says, I'll kill you. What if she's being kidnapped? Many people state that they can hear her. someone say, I'll kill you in the... In the <laughs> I can't read right now. Many people state that they can hear someone in the background whisper, I'll kill you during one of her videos. I'll let you guys decide for yourself if it's real. Here we go. It's very, very, very soft. I can barely hear it in my ears right here. I think you would hear with headphones. So let's go back. Barely. I would like to see headphones. Um, it's creepy though. I have goosebumps. It's creepy. Now I, I will be explaining some of the theories that I see reading the comments. The most common theory is that she's being held hostage and forced to eat um, tons of fast food in a pace, fast pace for money. Uh, people believe that her kidnapper is giving her a certain amount of time to finish the food, which is why she needs to eat so quickly. I think they give her a certain amount of time to finish everything. That's why she eats so fast, says one commenter. They also claim that the word ki that her kidnapper would starve her for days and then finally allow her to eat, which is why she's filming. Hence why she eats so much and so quickly. Many people also claim that she wears a face mask to hide her identity so no one can find out who she is and save her. But this has been going on since her first upload many months ago. How long ago? When was, well, we'll get to that in a minute. However, there are others who believe that all of these theories are fake and that nothing else is, nothing really is going on. Some say that she eats fast on purpose and others say she's perfectly okay. Maybe she's just hungry. She's very skinny. They believe that people are just finding little things and making them into clues when nothing is actually going on. Again, these are theories. Some of you are really reaching with these claims, finding things that aren't even there. Um, which does, I mean, I'll tell you as a YouTuber, who has made almost a thousand videos. And I've, people make stuff, people make their own stories up in their head. It happens all the time for the littlest things. So, it, is it possible that every single thing that people are saying, hostage, bruising, kidnapped, money, forced to eat, starving, is it likely that all of these things are true? It's very unlikely. How can every idea be real? It just doesn't, it just, it's not in the realm of possibilities on planet Earth. You throw a bunch of ideas out there, one of them sticks. One of them might be true. One of them might be kind of true. You know what I mean? So don't think that all of this is real. People paint stories in their head. And again, since it's an ASMR, you can't hear her voice. You can't hear the pace in her voice. You can't see her body language. She's just eating quickly blindfolded. If this was deliberate, it's working well to get people to get people talking about it truly spelling out the word help making her newest video i am alive someone in the back in the background which you can hear you but i don't know about kill i hear the word you in the background like i'll kill you but um people think she's doing this to gain views and get attention to her videos if everyone just starts to assume she was being forced, then obviously she's gonna get the views. There are many people, many other clues that people have found in her videos. Feel free to check them out if you're curious to learn more. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know if you think something's wrong. Let's watch another video together. This came, um, I am alive.
People have noticed bruises on Kate's body. She eats very fast pace, which have led people to believe that she's being starved. Let's make sure this isn't copyright music. This is concerning. She eats like she hasn't eaten in days. Her hands are shaking. It looks like she's being forced to eat. It's very strange. Some people think she's merely in an abu abusive relationship. Um, now, I've gotten bruises before. Yeah, the SOS highlighted was not an accident. That's what I'm saying. So, we can write that off the table. This is no coincidence or an accident. We can definitely write that off the table. I'm telling you right now. SOS, they spell the word delicious. Again, everything else is punctuated normally except delicious with S, so delicious. Again, there's oversight. You, you watch this before you put it on YouTube. So, something deliberate's going on. It just comes down to deliberate for views and entertainment as like a little part-time hustle, just something funny. Or, honestly, she could be a sick individual. This could all be in her head. This could all be in her head. She could be plotting this whole thing. Now the person behind the camera whispering you was creepy. So she's not alone in this. But it could be her eight year old brother. Hey, Johnny, you know how I do those weird videos on YouTube where I eat a lot of food? Yeah, sissy? Yeah, Kate? Well, um, Johnny, how about stand behind the camera and say it very softly and say, I'll kill you. It'll freak everyone out, but you never know. Okay, sure. Johnny does, he's eight years old. He probably forgets about it the next day. You know what I mean? You don't know. I personally don't think that she has been abductive, uh, abducted and held hostage. There is no way that someone would allow for those signs to be put out there. That's just begging for a uh, police trail. <laughs> I also don't think it's in dire need for money. Because again, she posts so infrequently. She could have at least posted once a week. She's not posting it at all. So write that off too. This is something, a side, a side little thing for entertainment because she thought this would be a fun, cute little thing to get people fooled, which is why she's toying with us with the comments, why, uh, the um, capitalization, why she's making tiles like I'm still alive, why she's been blindfolded since day one. You know what I mean? And she just, her plan worked. The other possibility I think is it's something to do with her environment, her house, her parents, her friends, not a friend, someone she lives with who's controlling these videos. Um, now, I have seen people literally starving. I'm married to someone who had an eating disorder. One of my best friends in the school was anorexic, orthorexic as well. She doesn't look starving like this is her first meal of the week. I think she's just skinny. Actually, I can think of lots of mukbangers who are just as skinny as her and they eat a lot of food. She could be like holding back her calories for a couple days and letting it loose on camera. But that's a lot of food. That's a lot of expensive food. Seafood, that's a $100 platter. Easily, $200 platter. So I don't think it's a situation of You know what I mean? YouTube is a game a, a game of luck and chance as well. If, you, if you're being abducted or held hostage, you're not gonna fork out $200 on lobster to have someone eat it blindfolded because you don't know if it's gonna get views. This is definitely coming from her or someone immediately connected to her. That's it. One time I spent $200 on a meal and I made $200 back <laughs> from the from the ads. That's it. You don't know. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this on YouTube before. Oh. There was a situation with a YouTuber 
pill. Um, people didn't know if they were she was alive. She came out and said, hi, I'm alive. I don't know where these rumors start. Actually, there's a YouTuber called Report of the Week. And someone started a rumor that he died in the um, Ariana Grande shooting in the UK. Or the bomb. Not a shooting, a bomb. The report of the Week lives in Florida, I believe. He's not even on that part of the world. And it just went flying around the internet that he got shot in that whole concert. Or well, not shot, he died. And he had to make a video that said, yes, I'm still alive. So... It's deliberate because if someone went out there and said, hey, Nikocado Avocado has been killed, I would immediately grab a camera and be like, no, I'm not. Hello, I'm here. You know what I mean? I would want to clear the air. Um, now, her last suspicious thing that says help, but I'm alive. Now we're, now we're waiting five weeks. It's a sick game. Or again, her mom, her dad, her husband, her boyfriend. It's creepy because there's such few information. That's why this is taking off. Yeah, she's eating expensive food. <coughs> Six months ago. <coughs> she's eating four whole pieces of salmon and like 10, no, 11 honeycombs. Each honeycomb is like $20, $30. She's blowing $100. This cost me $19.99. She's blowing hundreds of dollars on her mukbangs. Sushi, 100 sushis. I've done the 100 sushi challenge before. That is expensive. Two whole fish, two giant squids, lobster, king crab, salmon, raw octopus, scallops, <gasps> shrimp. I don't even know what to do about this damn bug. <sighs> I am so sorry about the fly. I think I killed it though. I think I crippled its wing. I felt it on my hand. It's not on my hand, but I don't know. Where, did you see it fought? Watch, it's gonna fall. Let's watch another video. Okay, this is uh, someone speaking a different language. What language is this? Was this in India? Someone said, I don't know what he's saying, but the music is scarier than what he's saying, I bet. <laughs> it's a 50-50%. 50% she has a problem, 50% she's doing it to gain viewers and it's working. If she, if she was forced to do this mukbang video, then I'm sure the uploader was um, the hold apper as well. As, as why would the hold apper give a hint to the viewers as Kate being abused. This is deliberate because they have to edit it. That's what I'm saying. I think, <clears throat> remember when Poppy came out? You know Poppy? It was such a mystery. Like, who's this girl? Why is she all weird? What's going on? Remember Poppy? Does she still make videos? I don't think of her anymore. But she like took off and then went away. For being weird, for being mysterious. People love mystery. That's actually why ASMR videos get a lot of traction too. There's a level, there's an element of mystery involved. Who's this person? Well, well, Poppy, she confused people. People didn't know if she was being mind controlled. I remember seeing so many conspiracy theories about Poppy. Blonde hair girl. You know who I'm talking about. Shane Dawson even made a video, a conspiracy video about her that made people even wondering even more. Turns out when the, when the, when the gig got stale, when people lost interest, what'd she do? She came out and said, I created this character to gain traction to sell my album. She did it to sell her music. I don't know if she's selling anything, Kate Yup, but maybe she just wants a little extra cash. You know, if she's getting a million views on a video, well, it depends on her CPM, but that could be 200 bucks. That could be a thousand dollars. That could be nine hundred dollars. That could be two thousand dollars. You don't even you don't even know. But still, at the lowest, 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 it's something. It's still cash. And maybe she's doing it because she really wants to feast. Maybe she. I mean, again, the whole skinny thing. You don't want to assume anything. But we're just throwing out ideas. Maybe she saves her calories for the videos. But then again, she only posts once a month. So I don't know. I was gonna say like maybe she has an, a problem with eating. And she likes to have it all in one go because she knows people will enjoy it with her. 
But there's nothing enjoyment about watching these videos. Mm -mm. Poppy did something similar. Now, she, Poppy didn't make people think she was in danger. I'm assuming that Kate might be, you know, playing around here. Poppy didn't take it to that level where it's like we had to worry for her. Because I'm still low-key, like, I don't think she's abducted. I don't think she's held hostage. I think... I just keep imagining, like, an abusive boyfriend for some reason or, like, a mean uncle. Like, maybe her parents died in a fire or a crane crash and he was the guardian and he's just, like, it, making her do freaky shit on YouTube and taking the money. She could be underage for all we know. A part of me does feel like something's not right, but... If they're planning this by leaving little clues and leaving a lot of open-ended questions, a lot of question marks, they're doing a great job at getting people to worry. And it's gaining traction. And here's people like me talking about it. You know. I can't tell you how many comments said, Nick, what do you think about Kate? What do you think about Kate? Well, this is what I think. I think she's definitely not abducted. Again, I've never committed a crime, but... I sh certainly want to, I wouldn't dangle that in people's faces. Uh-oh. I would be very secretive about it if I actually committed a crime. I think it's either deliberate for... to get people talking. Or it's deliberate for the person that's controlling her. Either way, it's deliberate. There's intention here. That's no accident. So, I don't know if it's coming from her. You don't know anything about her. Or the person next to her or around her. Could be the people around her. Could be both her parents doing this. Hmm. A normal person. Who, she's clearly on YouTube. Let's see what her tags are. You know what tags are? It's like how, it's what you want your video to be recommended next to. Some people don't use tags at all. Sometimes I don't use tags in videos. Oh, I have to sign in. This is Orlin's computer. Shoot. Um, let's go back to her channel. Let's just see if she types out a description as if she was a YouTuber. You know, if this is, if this isn't a, like someone just playing around too, they might not have a description either. <laughs> The description says this. I just clicked on one of these random videos. Four whole aloe vera leaves, 11 honeycombs, three raw salmons. So satisfying. That's her title. Her description usually is like, hi, follow me on Instagram. Hi, click here for, you know, affiliate link. Oh, my name is so-and-so. It's like a description. Um, her says this. Cost me $137. I am a girl. I eat fast and I know risks. But always I have eat like this. I have any health problem. My metabolic system is adapted. You don't have to worry about this heart. I love you all. Kate, yup. Dot, dot, dot. That's, <clears throat> that's deliberate. That's 100% deliberate. This is not like a little kid typing it out. This is someone doing this on purpose. Just like the SOS, just like the capitalized help, just like the damn title. This is someone doing this on purpose. It's either her or the person around her. Let's do her newest video that says I'm alive. Let's see what she wrote. I, same thing. It cost me $202. I am a girl. I eat fast and I know risks, but I always ate this way. I have any health problem. My metabolic system is adapted. But you don't have to worry. <laughs> and she tagged B Love's life. Huh. Let's see her first video. Oh, she's been doing this for a year. You guys, she's been doing this a year. Maybe they're from a different country. It doesn't say what country they're from. Now, now that I think about it, this not, might not be someone that speaks English. Which is why her first video, now this could have been edited, this might not be the original. I would have to go back on the Wayback Machine to see, but this was her first video published in 2018. It says, if you want more videos, like, share, subscribe. See, that's a normal description. And then it says, see two ves plus de videos animate and parta ma video. If you have any ideas about food challenges, tell me it in comment.
What language is this? Si tu as das beer and challenges alimentes dis a moin commentary. Excuse me, no. I want to see, excuse me. What language is this? I wonder if they all use this language. Copy, translate. Are you guys doing this type of stuff when you're trying to investigate? Detect language. What's the language? Let me just Google, Google dot translate dot com. Here we go. That's Google Translate. Let me just do translate. Here we go. French. Oh, I thought it was French. And that was actually what I had in the back of my mind. But for some reason I thought it was Portuguese. Don't come for me. Yeah, that's in French. Let's see, 11 months ago. See, this 11 months, months ago is when she started. I have any health problem. My metabolic system is adapted. I have already consulted dietitian. Don't forget to subscribe and watch more videos. You know, she was still, that was more like a normal description. She started this more recently, but she's blindfolded since day one. Um, so she could be foreign, which is why they're, but I'm sorry. The chances of SOS, let me just tell you exactly what, what does, it means help. It means help, doesn't it? <clears throat> An urgent appeal for help. Yeah, this is not this is not an accident. I don't care if she's foreign. She could be pretending she's foreign to make people more confused. I'm telling you, this could be a brilliant mastermind to get attention. Or the people around her are not treating her well. I eat fast, I chew little, I know. But I have always eaten like this and I have never been in troubles. My organism got adopted. Let's look at her about page. Nothing. It says location United States. So she could be pretend. Oh, here we go. Location United States. She could be pretending. She could be pretending to be in Fran Fran France. Why would you do that? Since day one? Her plan finally took off. A year in the making. This was a year in the making. Her plan or someone else's plan, but this is a year in the making. Um, 40 million views on her whole channel. She only has 20 videos. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know if it's exactly 20, but it's about 20. So I I don't think we're ever gonna find out the answer. Why, why, I, why would they give up that act? If it's raking in the money, why would they give that up? And the person who's behind it, why would they stop? Why aren't they posting more though? Or maybe they don't need money. Look, she's paying off. She's paying hundreds of dollars on food. Maybe they don't need money. And this is just a sick little game. It's very peculiar. And I haven't watched any other videos about it other than my friend T-Bang. Hi T-Bang. <laughs> hmm. I know a lot of you were looking for me to come out with all these answers, but you can only gather so much from watching this. It's mysterious, which is why people get hooked. It's very mysterious. And I'm sorry, she did not consult with a dietitian. <laughs> no dietitian would tell her, yes, this is okay. I'm telling you, I know for a fact, this is not okay. You don't. No, once a month, maybe. She doesn't post. Mm. Whoa. How do you know what to believe? And that goes for a lot of things on YouTube. That's why I'm all about receipts. I need to make some merch that says, where are the receipts? Your receipts for your death threats. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just thinking of a past drama. Where are those receipts? Hmm. I don't know, you guys. 
I can go both ways. She's doing it herself or the person next to her is doing it. But I am 100% certain that it's deliberate. This is not an accident. I also don't think she's kidnapped. I know a lot of kids think it's, it could be, but you know, if it came down to it and there was a pleasing investigation, they're going to locate that mother effort in a snap once they get his IP address. You got, you get, you take this to some kind of federal investigation that YouTube, you know, sponsors to make, to over, make sure it's, see, it's seen through. They'll get him in a snap. Adults know that. You can't hide in this world much anymore. Again, I've never committed a crime, but I'm saying I watch a lot of, a lot of a Law & Order SVU. And they have all these fancy devices <laughs> to like find criminal, criminals. Mmm. This is good. Mmm. So. Plotting her next thing. Or she's in her house and her parents or her husband or her boyfriend or her wife, maybe she's gay and she's with a woman. Her, her environment is plotting their next move. That's where she is though. She's plotting her next move or the environment. Her surroundings are plotting her next move. Yeah, so very mysterious. But I don't think she's kidnapped because this doesn't really make. It wouldn't be broadcasted. I know where Kate Yup is. There, there's my title. In her room, probably. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where she is. All I know. Is that when you get caught, you don't dangle pieces of information in front of strangers. I'm sorry, not if you get caught. If you're guilty, if you're doing something, you do not leave a paper trail behind you. Watch Law and Order. This is just 101, how to be a criminal. Oh yeah, people leave paper trails behind all the time. But, not on purpose. Unless it was Saw. Remember Saw? That mysterious movie? Oh, I had a hard time watching it because of the, all the guts and gory. Ooh. Hmm. The battery's about to die. I will be right back. So, as you can see, I'm kind of slowing down. Mmm. <laughs> that onion flavor. That onion powder. Mmm. <sighs> Full. Well, I wish I had more to say. It's mysterious. And I don't think we're going to find out what we want to know anytime soon. Do you know why I know that? It's because there's been concern about her 
for months and months. And she has posted videos during the concern for months and months. You obviously see what people comment on your page. You know what I mean? She doesn't just walk away. Or, excuse me, the people controlling this act don't just walk away. They're looking at the reviews. They obviously, this is not their invention to, you know, do ASMR style videos. They, it's a learned behavior. She tagged me love sauce in it. I really want to see her tags. I have to get my other, other computer, but I'm too lazy. I don't need to know them. She's, if she's tagging B Love Sauce and she's doing a style of video that is learned, ASMR eating shows is not a normal. This was created only on YouTube. So they're observant. They know. They are watching what's going on on YouTube. They're reading their comments. They're looking for feedback. We are not going to hear the answers we want because if it was a true person with genuine motives, again, whether it's her or the person controlling her, um, they would have come out and said, hey, we see all these rumors. Let, me, let us clear the air because we're just trying to, you know, make our make our videos. But no, they haven't done that. And they've had ample opportunity to do it, you know. So. Unless someone, again, it's like a pin, a pin, a needle in a haystack. If someone comes out and says, hey, I recognize this girl's mouth. Oh my God, she's my friend from school. And they show a photo. Boom. It's over. You know, it could be a friend from school that comes out. A family member that's like, why is my sister doing this? Hey, I gotta say something. But unless that happens where someone can recognize her and not only recognize her, but have the balls to come to the internet and say, hey, I found out who this person is. We're never going to know. They would have told us by now. Now, I'm not a professional detective. You never say never. There's always lots of different possibilities. But based on what makes sense and the patterns we see in human behavior, people don't stop what ain't broken. They don't fix it unless it's not working anymore. And right now it's working splendidly. Because they are getting more attention than the biggest stars on this platform right now for eating blindfolded and not saying a damn word. <laughs> so, I personally am not going to lose sleep over it and I'm not going to stalk their channel waiting for the next video. Um, because I personally feel that she is okay in terms of, you know, she's kidnapped or something. I think it's something, a dynamic in the household, or she is a troll. One of those two. And in both case scenarios, there's nothing I can do, and, um, you know what I mean? I can't make people, like, tell the truth, and I can't make whoever's controlling her tell the truth. So, they're clearly having fun with it. She might not care. This could be someone else's idea. Now, again, the bruises on her arm... I've had cat scratches. I still have a scar right here. I mean, I just, it's, it, I just know from my end, from being a YouTuber, and knowing how many stories run wild and free on the internet. Someone sees you say something, they look at you for five seconds and they have a story made up in their head. Or they hear about a thing and they expand on their own imagination. And it's not true. And I've seen so much said about me. Um, I just know how people are. People like to run wild with their thoughts. And it's fascinating, which is why, look, I'm making a video about it too. I'm like, hey, let's talk about what's going on here. But that's... Yeah. I honestly, I hate to say it, it doesn't help that she eats really fast. It does make it a little creepy. But then again, there's other ASMR channels that eat kind of fast too. And I hate to say it, it doesn't help that she's thin. I, in terms of like making you feel comfortable. It doesn't help people's imaginations run wild. That's all I'm saying. You see a skinny, thin girl eating like she hasn't eaten before. Um... 
whoever's idea this was is brilliant that's all i'm saying and it's not for good reasons i'm just saying I honestly, honestly, people are very shallow. I mentioned this in my Amberlynn Reed video the other day. People are so shallow when it comes to appearance. They see your appearance and that, again, determines so much for how people view you, your intentions, etc. Underweight, overweight, in the middle of the weight. And unfortunately, that's how people are. And uh, they're gonna see her underweight. Or, I don't know, I don't think she's underweight. If she's like 15, I don't. It's hard to know her age. Again, you don't. She's a 14 year old French girl, you know, I don't, I don't know. So, sorry, this video doesn't really have much to say, <laughs> but have a great day, everyone. I'm full. I'm going to get going. have to edit this video and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.